Hey guys, I'm Nemo, and let's look at the next deck here. I'll play a game online with it. Um, Born of Flame. Now I only have 13 cards unlocked so far, but uh, I'm not going to be unlocking every card, because then you'd have to wait for all the videos. So, um, I have uh, Torch Fiend out. I don't like these Fiery Hellhounds, they're too slow for this deck. When you compare them to stuff like uh, Dragon Hatchling, that's way faster. Pyre Charger, even better. Um, so you don't need, like the, these cheaper guys that you can pump are better than the, than the more expensive guys you can pump. Because uh, the faster you have them out, the better it is. And uh, once you have one guy out that can pump, then you don't need to drop another one. There, there's no reason for that. So they all have fire breathing, that's what this ability here is uh, called. It used to be an enchantment that you could place on a creature that gave it this ability. And that enchantment was called fire breathing. So that's why... This is always called fire breathing, but uh, it, it basically you spend the red and it gets plus one, plus zero. Oh. All of these guys have it, um, but uh, the cheaper ones are better. And uh, it, it doesn't like there's no point in having two of them out at the same time, uh, most of the time. So that's why I'll probably likely be getting rid of the um, dragon whelps as well. Because they're just not as good as the guys that you can drop turn 2, you know? Because they got the same ability. So there you go. Um, I don't like Paradical Pyromancer here because he dies to your own spells too, money, too much. Uh, I don't like Firewing Phoenix because he's too slow. Like, you have to pay so much to get him back and then you have to play him again. It's that, That's just, you play him for 4, he's a 4-1, he probably dies very quickly. Then you have to pay 4 to get him back in your hand, and 4 again to play him again. That's so slow, man. Uh, Chandra's Fury, I don't like it that much, because you have plenty of stuff that can deal 1 damage, at least, to all uh, all the guys. And, and it's a very anti-token card. It's against the token strategies, like the Goblin deck and the uh, White deck. But, um, you know, against the White deck, it's not that great if you have something out. Enchantment out that gives all the creatures plus 1, plus 1. And against the Goblin deck, a 5 cost card to get rid of their dudes, then you're probably too late anyway. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you're better off using the uh, the faster cards that can do the same thing, like, uh, let's see here, like Rain of Embers and stuff like that. That can do the same thing, um, and, and this thing is obviously amazing. Flame Break, 3 damage to each creature without flying, and each player damage... Creatures dealt damage this way you can't regenerate this turn. It's just an amazing card. Fire Elemental is way too slow. Like this guy is too slow. This is just seven cost cards in this deck is too slow. You don't you don't want to wait until you've got seven lands. Plus this is more uh, aimed at killing their creatures and uh, you know most of the time at, at seven you're you're almost you're ready to just kill the opponent. You know. Um, so there you go. Uh, I, f I do think that this deck is a bit slower than, than um, Unquenchable Fire in 2012, but where Unquenchable Fire could actually use Flame Wave to, to a good effect, this deck can't because it has enough really, uh, I mean, it has enough better spells than uh, Unquenchable Fire had. So it's easier to wipe the board anyway with this deck, and then there's nothing going to be left to Flame Wave. So there you go. That's how we've set it up so far, and uh, that's just, you know. Like take it with a grain of salt, because I don't I don't know that much about the deck yet. Because as you can see, I only have played 30 matches with it. So you know, I only have played I've only played 30 matches with it. Uh, so let's jump online and get into a match here against uh, DWNV. Born a flame. Go 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 DW. Um. Go <laughs> and no. Eyes on baby yeah yeah. I've played against this guy before because I remember his name. I like it. Um this pirate charger would be better if it was a one drop by the way, I'm just saying. Um I'm guessing he's playing Ancient Wilds because the other green deck is hardly worth playing. Well I guess it's a good deck, but I mean they made it so much better than the uh, previous green deck. Okay, he is playing it. Um, they made it so much better than the previous green deck, Karuk's deck. But then they made every other deck be much better as well. So, 
it's like it's still one of the one of the decks that isn't great. You know, that's kind of just a shame. But I'll play that that guy because he has haste. So I get in for one now, and I can get in for a lot next turn. Um, he, if he drops something that I can flame slash or whatever. But anyway, this is probably a bad matchup for this deck. I haven't played it before, but just the fact that I'm playing against green and he's going to have a lot of creatures with high toughness, and I'm playing a burn deck. Um, so yeah, there I see it. Now I have to use two. Oh, he preys upon as well. There you go. So he gets rid of my dude as well. Um, so, I mean, I have to use two burn spells just to get rid of one creature here. So I'm losing in card advantage already. Um, so that's pretty bad for me, really. Um, well, I have to do it, but then he's just going to play something even bigger. Uh, I, I don't think this, this is a very unwinnable match, it already, or it almost seems like, but hey, there you go. I have to do it on my turn, because Flame Slash is a sorcery. This is a 4 or 5, you know, and I've used 2 cards on it. And it's just a free cost dude that he played. And he's going to have bigger dudes. <laughs> and I don't know, and I seem to be mana screwed as well. And uh, the, the really big sorceries I can play are the ones that uh, are get big because I have a lot of mana. But <laughs> yeah, well, there you go, I'm playing this Torch Fiend. And uh, let's pass the turn then. At least the fact that he used his Prey Upon means that he doesn't have the Hunter dude who uh, taps to to do the same thing. So that's nice for me at least. Um, I don't know what he has, but it's probably going to be huge or he just has land. Uh, <laughs> I hope it's the second thing, because if you drop something, a 7 cost thing, there's no way I'm going to be able to ever kill that with this deck. Just no way. Anyway, let's play my Magma Phoenix. Um, well, if Earthquake hit my Magma Phoenix, it doesn't. But if I could deal damage to my Magma Phoenix with Earthquake, then maybe. Okay, well, that thing I can kill. Um, now I can't. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> wow, that is huge. It, uh, it doesn't even need Hexproof, man. Uh, just being a 10-10 against this deck, there's just no, no, no way. No way ever. Um, so I guess I'm just going to have to chump block him. He doesn't have trample, does he? No, he doesn't have trample. So I can't chump block it, at least. Um, I'm going to have to as well. Um, this would be 4 damage, this would be 3 damage, it's 7 damage, 1 more. I could deal 8 damage plus 3 is 11. Like, hmm. I was just thinking maybe, but earth, Earthquake there. Okay, so free damage. My guy dies as well. Um, if I could Earthquake now, then I'd be able to actually kill that thing, but nope. Because Earthquake is a sorcery. Um, at least I can return this guy to my hand. Uh, that's, I guess, what I'm going to have to do as well. Cause then I, and then I play Magma Phoenix again and it does soften. Oh uh, man, I'm just going to take free damage either way then. Um, but I have to have a blocker. So I play this. And there's no, <laughs> no other way to survive here. Man, this is a terrible matchup. This is really, really bad. Uh, I mean, yeah. This is just like unquenchable. Or like, this deck does really well against certain matchups. Like goblins, it completely obliterates goblins. But you just die against any sacrifices. This dude... After dealing 2 damage, now he should sacrifice. Yes, there we go. This guy knows what's up. Um, yeah, there's just no way. No way this deck can ever beat this. <laughs> uh, funny stuff. You know, there's, I'm, I'm giving up. There you go. GG, bro. Terrible matchup. <laughs> yeah. The fire deck, it can beat goblins, it can beat the uh, the we white weenie deck, but it can't beat, no way can it ever beat a green deck. That's just, I mean, trying to burn green creatures, you lose so much in card advantage and eventually he plays something that you just can't, can't kill. But um, we'll find someone else, I guess. Alright, we're back. Um, well, I've got hostility here and I pretty much have the mana to be able to cast. But all I have in the early turn is Flame Slash. No, I don't like that. 
Uh, I like this a lot better. I hope to get that one land though, but I mean, I, I have something to do early, and if I get a lot of land, then I have some, some other stuff to, that I'll be able to play. Um, okay, so now we're up against the white weenie deck. GGGG is my opponent's name. Um, I'll play Dragon Hatchling here. I don't have anything to deal damage to multiple creatures right now. Um, I think most of those cards are in the unlocks though. So I don't have uh, everything unlocked yet. So that might mean that this deck isn't as good a matchup as, I, as it will be when I have it fully unlocked. You know, against the White Weenie deck. Um, but yeah, I think part of the problem against the green deck right now is like in, in, in Jewels of the Planeswalkers 2012 it was possible to beat the green deck with burn. But the reason was because um, every deck was a, a bit in, more inconsistent. Uh, he's going to pacify Dragon Hatchling. Oh man, that's a shame for me. But he probably doesn't have every card unlocked then if he uh, runs pacifism. Because you can exile stuff, so why would you pacifism? <laughs> Just my, my thought on that. But, um, well, I've got Swift Food Boots. Ugh. Ugh. Um, giving my dude Hexproof won't help against pacifism. Because it's already on there, it just makes him untargetable. Like it's not like giving him pro protection from white. If I gave him protection from white, then pacifism would fall off. But giving him a hexproof it just makes him untargetable for new spells. Uh, so there you go. Um, I really need to draw a land here for Shandra's Phoenix, but it looks like he's also not having the most aggro uh, hand. It looks like he has a lot of control, so that does give me some time time to draw my stuff. As needed, but uh, oh, there's a Crusader of Audric. I'm gonna have to kill that very quickly. Um, there's my land for Chandra's Phoenix, but I kind of don't <laughs> like. I know he's just gonna play the the, the thing for four mana, three dudes that uh, makes his guy too big for me to kill. So I'm just gonna pass the turn. I don't want to use this Flame Slash. And it's two one, by the way. I'm just gonna pass the turn. Um, he doesn't have stuff like Brave the Elements in his deck, like the old White Pile had, so I don't think he can react to me. Okay, that's fine. Um, I can still kill it. So, I guess I'll do it now. There you go. He does have a one, car, uh, one card that's free cost that prevents all damage against him and creatures he controls. So that's something you have to be worried about uh, with this matchup, I guess. Um, yeah, I was talking about, <laughs> uh, kind of want to play Chandra's Phoenix and then also Flame Slash, I guess. No, I'll just play Chandra's Phoenix, um, equip it with this just to give it Hexproof and then I'll be able to block him. And even if, if he gives some kind of pump effect to his 3-2, so to make it bigger, then I can still just... I mean, this guy never really dies, so I mean, it, it's going to cost me mana to get it, to play it again. But um, that's why I like this guy better than the four-one dude, by the way. Okay, so he plays another one of those. I can still kill it at least, um, and he doesn't have the mana open to protect it. But if you draw another land, then now, oh, oh, I kind of want to play that really. Um, well, I'll. Tough choice. Um, hmm. I kind of want to pass the turn in Chandra's Outrage. But then he might have enough mana open to play the uh, thing that protects him from damage. As well as something that gives tokens. But it's just one card in his deck. So let's hope he doesn't have it, I guess. I want to see those tokens, man. I know he has two cards in hand. He gotta, he's got to have... There you go. Now I gotta react with Chandra's Outrage on this dude. To make it die before it gets too big for me. Now he played his stuff and he has one card left in hand. I don't know what it is, but it's not apparently it's it's not worth playing for him right now. Or maybe it's like Captain of the Watch, I don't know. I will block here. Um yeah, I mean my Chandra's Phoenix dies, but it's it's card advantage for me basically. So 
Um, now I kind of want to play my Obsidian Pyre Heart. But I also kind of want to kill one of his dudes again. But, ah, uh, man. Okay, see, this is this makes it tough. But at least one of his... Those guys won't, won't grow bigger. Like, they're not like the Crusaders. Um, he could have, like, Monk. A uh, Geistarnered Monk. That would be pretty sad for me. He can draw anything, basically. Yeah, six lands up. I think the highest cost card in his deck is seven lands, so he could basically just draw anything and play it. And 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 um, I have to be worried about pretty much every card in his deck at this point. And I am not I'm not even dealing damage to him right now. I, I'm just controlling him. So I want to draw lands so I can play like stuff like Fire Servant and Infernal Titan. Actually, it's Fire Servant. Come to think of it, seeing as how controlling this. Ah, uh, okay, that does. I can still use its ability at least. But he gets in for 5 damage now. He takes me to 8. He doesn't have cards in hand though. He doesn't have cards in hand. So if I get land for this guy. Uh, but this guy has first strike. So then I take another free damage. Uh, before I can play flame slash. Oh that's tough. But uh, For red instant or sorcery spell. So this wouldn't deal double damage. His ability. Yeah, this guy is nice, but I think I have to just flame slash attended knight. Use this ability. If, let's see, as long at the beginning of your upkeep, so might as well just use it now, right now, because then he already takes one damage from it. Now he gets in for two damage, but if I played the fire servant, he could have gotten in for three damage, because I wouldn't be able to block his attend attended knight because it has first strike uh, and free in the front. So yeah. I mean, this is one less damage I'm taking. Uh, I don't have Fire Servant on the board yet. But I mean, if I draw, draw land and get Infernal Titan out, then it doesn't really matter whether or not I have Fire Servant out there. And Infernal Titan can deal with pretty much anything it can drop. Uh, land, that's great for me. Um, I want to land as well. Because then I just, I'm, I'm pretty much win this game once I drop Infernal Titan. Um, although... He could have a lot of things to, like, get rid of it, though. This deals one damage to each creature and each player. Um, that's no good. Yeah, I'll just drop Fire Servant, because these Blaze Counters, I mean, they're, they're, I already have one working for me. But they're not going to work very fast. Anyway, this way I can just, I mean, now he can't even attack me. But I'm at 6 life, so I, I want to just be sure... Uh, that I'm, I'm safe from him. And he drops another land that's great for me. He's he's drawn nuts. I mean, he's drawn nothing. Just drawn lands. And he will probably quit as soon as I drop Inferno Titan. So let's see what happens. Uh -huh. It's a shame I can't give it X proof. Like, if that, if that was the uh, Storm Boots, wow. <laughs> Just wow. Um, I mean, it, it only gives Shroud and not X proof, but still. I could equip it for zero, give my Infernal Titan haste, deal another 9 damage, wow, Infernal Titan on haste, that would be insanely good. Um, but there you go, I pretty much control this match now, and uh, I, uh, he takes one more damage, he goes to 10, I can, I can just kill him next turn, so I mean, even if he blocks like the Fire Servant, uh, if only, if he gets rid of the Fire Servant, there's another land, so there you go. I would deal 9 damage with just Inferno Titan. I can even just pump out Inferno Titan even. Uh, come to think of it. I, I mean, what am I even... But let's go. We shall take him to zero life. And uh, don't quit out on me, guys. Because I don't like playing against the AI. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, this seems to be on by default. Again, I, I just don't like it. Oh, wait a second. I just passed the turn. I don't even need to rain of embers, that would have been cute, but this is even cuter. Take you to zero, add upkeep. You think you're getting a turn? No you're not. No you're not. And we've won against the white deck. So like I said, this deck is great against the uh, white weenie deck. Now, both of us were pretty much drawn pretty bad hands, pretty bad cards. Um, I, um, my deck was performing way slower than it usually does, but he was drawing nothing at the end there. Just four lands in a row, I think. So... That's really good for me. I was very lucky there. Um, but in general, I think that the matchup is good for the uh, red deck, the burn deck.
can deal with goblins and can also deal with the white deck. So yeah, there you go. My thoughts on the red deck. Some gameplay with it. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name has been Nemo. My name will still be Nemo next time. See you then.